It's been nine long months since the Florida State Seminoles competed inside of Doe Campbell Stadium. I've got to reach the 17. Here's Manuel dropping. Look, that was a fade route near corner of the end zone. And up and all. Go! Touchdown, FSU! Welcome back inside of Doe Campbell Stadium. I'm Ryan Pincy for Seminoles.com. And as the 2012 Florida State football season gets underway this Saturday against the Murray State Racers, it will be an emotional time, especially for senior running back Chris Thompson, who never knew if he would play football again after breaking his back at Wake Forest. He'll be on the field and starting the game for the Seminoles this weekend, and the emotions will be high. I think it's going to be pretty emotional for me. Um, you know, just just being able to say that I, I came back, you know, from from a broken back pretty much. Um it's gonna be an emotional emotional thing, but you know, once 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 it kicks off, I gotta get in game mode, you know. Just hear that band and all those all those people and, and dope, you know, it just it's a dream come true. But, you know, for me, I enjoy the moment when it's time to run out of the tunnel. But when I'm done running out of the tunnel, that's it, you know, it's, it's I'm in my zone. I would say they're a lot bigger. You know, that's the biggest thing that I think all the fans will notice uh, when we break the huddle uh, this Saturday. You know, we have some great size. Um, those guys are, you know, a lot smarter. You know, the guys that were younger, like Josue and uh, Trey Jackson, uh, Austin Barron, they were younger last year for, as freshmen. And uh, now they have the opportunity to be sophomores, have a year under their belt, a uh, full spring and things like that. So, um, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that they're going to be confident in what they see. There's been a lot of hype surrounding the 2012 Florida State defense, and that defense is not taking anyone for granted, including one AA Murray State. These players are focused, and they know they have a job to do this Saturday. Just look at the past years where every year a D1 program get upset by a D1 AA. So, and we watch these guys on film, and they have talent. They have athletes, and they have good coaches, and we have to be really focused and approach this game as if, if it was a Clemson or a USF game. If you watch them on film, you definitely know that you can't just be shooting up field because, you know, that's what they want you to do. They're definitely a great team, a good team, better than people would think they would be. So that they're going to give us a good uh, run for our money, you know, good competition. So uh, we got to go out there and practice and just work on assignments. You know, every play is something else. It's going to be an assignment game, technique game. You have to do everything by the books this game. Joined now by Seminoles.com managing editor Brandon Meller. And Brandon, it's time again, Florida State and Murray State, to kick off the 2012 season. It's finally time. Glad to be back out here again. We sure are. You come out here, you see these guys painting the field, getting it ready. It just feels like it's finally here. We've been watching these guys all summer, all fall camp. Uh, they're out there working hard and they're finally ready to actually get there and hit somebody else for a change. And I know fans are ready, ready to see it. Players and coaches are ready to see it too. Let's get it started. Let's get uh, right into it. The keys for the game, Florida State and Murray State. Murray State, uh, a lot of different options on offense. Balanced attack both uh, through the air and on the ground. What do the Knowles need to do to shut them down early? Well, you know, this is an opponent where you see it on the schedule. I think a lot of fans say, okay, well, that's a win. And, and you can't take that approach if you're, if, you're on the if you're on the team playing, if you're a coach. You you got to take this game as it is a, a must win, a first game of the year, no matter who it is. And, and this team can mix it up. Chris Hatcher, great coach, great offensive mind. You know, uh, some of the fans know him well, being up the street in Valdosta State, you know, winning national championships there. Uh, so this team can thro th throw the ball around. And this can be a good test for the Knowles, you know, opening the season with an offense like this. And we'll get to see what this uh, this Ballyhoo defense is all about. New member back in the secondary for the Florida State Seminoles and Nick Waysom, who won the position battle. Expect to see Ronald Darby quite a bit, though, as the uh, true freshman should be getting quite a bit of playing time. On the offensive side of the ball, Brandon, you look, you got E.J. Manuel, fifth-year starter. You've got a, a new retooled offensive line. Is that the biggest key to this game is how that offensive line is able to protect E.J. and open up holes for the running backs? It definitely is. We know these guys are bigger. We know they're stronger. They're, they're probably better overall, but they're unproven. Uh, you look at Brian Stork, the center, 14 games starting his career. you got two other starts all together, the other guys. Jose Matias and Trey Jackson, one start each. Cam Irving, Malik Watts, we know their stories. They've never done this before. So that's a huge question mark. We all think these guys can be very good. We think they can be dominant. We think they can be road pavers, protect EJ Manuel. We haven't seen it yet, though. We need to see it in a real game. And, and I know everyone's anxious to see what happens with these guys. And it'll be a good first test for them going against a defense that's going to have their ears pinned back. Seminoles.com, your official source for game day information. We have got you covered. You can find out everything you need to know for Florida State and Murray State. Log on right now, Seminoles.com forward slash. Game day. Tickets are still available for the Seminoles and the Racers, the home opener here in Tallahassee. You can get those right now, Seminoles.com forward slash tickets or by calling the FSU ticket office at 1 888 FSU Knoll. Nine long months, they're in the books. We'll get started this Saturday, 6 p.m., under the lights at Doe Campbell Stadium. We'll look forward to seeing you then. For Seminoles.com, I'm Ryan Pincy.